Welcome, and thank you for stopping by NetApp's virtual booth here at Ansible Fest 2020. In the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you about what makes NetApp stand out in the Ansible world, what some of the advantages are of using us, even show you a demo of some of the advanced options that can be done and some of the things you can look forward to doing, as well as links to some locations where you can get more information uh, after the Ansible Fest. Did you know that NetApp is a certified Ansible module provider? What this means is that after we take and do all of our hard work and our modules in-house, they don't just instantly get added to Ansible. Red Hat pulls our code in-house and a human goes through it line by line, checking for formatting and best practices and documentation, but also checking to make sure that our modules do what we say it's going to do and more important to the end user that our modules won't do anything that we haven't acknowledged it does. Certified modules also you can call Red Hat for questions if you have support through Red Hat and whether we have support or not you can get support from the vendor and our support we offer through a Slack workspace and a configuration management channel. You can get an invite to our Slack workspace at www.netapp.io and there's a link at the end. NetApp was one of the original six companies that became a certified Ansible module provider and the very first data management company. And today, NetApp has more certified content and has done more work to certify than any other vendor in the certification program. Unlike some other vendors, we don't write our modules for the platform that you're running against. We write them for the operating system that might be on that platform. So in the case of our element software modules, those playbooks you write to work against um, a solid fire cluster will also work against an HCI storage component because they're both running the element software operating system. And for our ONTAP operating system, this means that a playbook you write to run against a physical uh, NetApp appliance, an AFF or FAS system will also work against the software de defined ONTAP running in VMware or KVM and with the cloud appliance of ONTAP called Cloud Volume ONTAP that runs in Azure, AWS, or Google Cloud. We have modules for our operating systems that cover your day zero needs, your day one needs, and your day two needs, covering in most of our customers' experiences 100% of their requirements to automate the configuration and management of their NetApp endpoints. And those that are using Ansible, we hear back from them on the incredible time savings they get and the efficiency they have in doing their configurations and their management and their provisionings. We hear reports back as high as a 96 times efficiency on returning requests. That is 9,500% faster thanks to Ansible. And the slowest response we've heard from our end user was that they were 4,900% faster. They still had a 50x increase in efficiency. So it doesn't matter if you're able to push the absolute limit of the envelope or if you're just getting by at the beginning. You will save time and return value to your end users quicker using Ansible with NetApp endpoints. But I don't want you just to take my word for it. I'm going to show you the running of a playbook that will do a complete cluster configuration and even space provisioning of an ONTAP clustered system. So here we have the cluster being created. And then we have the additional nodes being joined to that system. We have a reboot in order to validate discounts on the cluster and then a wait to make sure it finishes properly. Then the cluster management lift is being created. This is a permanent cluster management lift versus the DHCP pulled address that we were using on first boot. We're then able to add any uh, additional privileges to the admin account, in this case SSH, and assign our disks to be owned by our individual nodes as needed, create our data aggregates, that is the RAID components of the storage uh, system, remove that DHCP lift that was created, um, define default routes if needed at our DNS and additional admin users and NTP and SNMP, uh, create the network interfaces that are used for mirroring 
um, create the uh, V servers that are used for data presentation, the default routes and DNS in those, as well as joining them to Active Directory systems or configuring the protocols for Fiber Channel or iSCSI or NFS or SIFS, and then even at the very end, uh, present space when that is asked for. And while that video was accelerated for this demo, uh, that was in real time, six minutes and 30 seconds to modify 25 individual components, which was the equivalent of probably 100 separate commands that were all able to be run in an automated and certified method to be done every single time the same way without issue, error, or exception. Now, if you're going to screenshot one of the slides, this is the one I suggest you do. And that is because this has some of the great links we have. I talked about a little bit netapp.io. This is our open ecosystem blog site. And if you go to the automation section, um, I've written dozens of blogs around Ansible and automation. Uh, there is um, a getting started guide. Uh, there is talk about tower, about certification for pre-shared certificate authentication, about Ansible vault use with ONTAP, uh, about loops and, and advanced ways of using the inventory file with ONTAP. Since we do run over HTTPS and not SSH, you don't normally use an inventory file with our systems, but advanced methods for how that can be done talked about our support offered through our Slack uh, workstation. The, here is that link, www.netapp.io forward slash Slack. Join us on the configuration management channel. That's configuration management, one word, but management is spelled M-G-M-T. Uh, myself and several of the other developers of our modules are there to answer questions about how our modules work, how they work in the playbooks, help you with errors or issues you might be having, as well as take your feedback and requests. The last two links I have there, that first one is I talked about that getting started guide you can find. So this is a link to a what is now a four-part uh, getting started guide. It was originally written in 2018 as a five-part guide. It's now a four-part guide rewritten this year. Part one is the installation of Ansible and the necessary NetApp components and collections. Uh, written instructions for both Python 2.7 for those people who are still in the older world and the 3.x versions. Part two is the anatomy of a playbook. If you've never written a playbook, this will show you what the parts of a playbook are and how they're used and where to put them. Part three is your first on-tap playbook, creation of a volume, resizing of a volume, and deleting of a volume. And then part four is a complete um, workflow of creating a NFS uh, storage virtual machine, including the protocol virtual machine creation, um, data lift attachment, and modification of the export policy rule. Additionally, it uses YAML aliases and talks about how you can use them. If you've never heard of or used a YAML alias, that's a great thing to look at. The final link is if you're just getting started uh, and you haven't yet made a decision on Ansible Tower, anyone who has an environment with more than one person really should be using Tower for the numerous advantages it gives you. But if you're wanting to kick the tires on that, you can use the open source upstream version of Tower, Ansible AWX, and that last link there on the page is to a how to install tower within Docker and update the engine to the current version, uh, as well as add the necessary NetApp collections for what we are doing. There are other uh, tower guides that will cover AWX or Ansible Tower, doesn't matter which version, on how to add projects, how to create credential types for use with NetApp, uh, how to do workflows. Um, and there even will be linked GitHubs that you can use with a couple example playbooks just to get you started and how that goes together. For stop NetApp thanks you for stopping by our booth and for spending this time here at Ansible Fest. If you'd like more information about NetApp, you can contact your NetApp sales rep or go to www.netapp.com. For more information about things we cover in the DevOps space, you can go to www.netapp.com forward slash DevOps. Also, please don't be shy and join the Slack workspace. You can come there and ask us questions and get more answers there as well. Thank you for stopping again and enjoy the rest of Ansible Fest.